Don Jakes with OakHarborChurches.com, and today I'm here at Whitby Presbyterian Church with John Draskovic. Very good. I didn't say it right. Yes, so it's you did. really great to be here. Yeah, welcome. And uh, as always, we're just looking to find out what makes this church unique among all the churches in Oak Harbor. Mm -hmm. So my first question for you is, what drew you to the Presbyterian Church? Mm -hmm. uh, assuming you wanted to be a pastor, there's a lot of options. Why, why Presbyterian? Yeah. I actually didn't grow up Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. I came from a Roman Catholic background, but um, it was when I was exposed to it, it was a respect for the tradition, uh, for the historical nature of the church, but also uh, worshiping God with the life of the mind as well as mm -hmm. with the heart and the soul. Now tell me a little bit about this build. This is an older building. What, mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, this sanctuary was built in the uh, 20s. It's almost 100 years old. We're getting close there. Wow. And it was built by the uh, original Dutch Reformed community that was here in Oak Harbor. And in the 60s, it transferred ownership to a fledgling Presbyterian church. And we've been here ever since. So what happens here on Sunday morning? If I was a visitor and I arrived here, just take me briefly through what I should expect. We're a part of a liturgical tradition, and we have about an hour-long worship service, which includes prayer, it includes uh, responsive readings and prayers, it includes singing hymns and praise and worship. We have a uh, time of prayer of the people. Obviously, scripture is always read, uh, the, the word is always preached, and uh, we also have confession and pardon. So we're a traditional liturgical church in that sense. Okay. So why do people love coming and being a part of this church? What do they love about being here? Yeah, um, I think it's a community of people who care for one another. We have a, a very active small group ministry. To be honest with you, it's a very non-judgmental community as well. You don't have to look a certain way. You don't have to pray a certain way. Uh, you don't have to talk a certain way. You don't have to have a certain income or you know economic status here. That everybody is welcome, and I, I find that very attractive, and that's why I love being the pastor of this church. That's great. So to close things up, why don't you share with us what one of your favorite Bible verses is? Yeah, um, I think that uh, when the Lord sends Moses to go redeem his people out of slavery in Egypt in Exodus chapter three, he asks him, who, "Who's going to send me? Who, who, what's your name, really?" Um, and the Lord gives him this really amazing response that I think is, is so deep. Uh, it says, I am who I am, or I will be who I will be, essentially. In a, in a sense, uh, you will probe my depths, but you'll never fully understand, because I am the Lord of all that is, and that's the Lord we worship in Christ. So I've always held that one with me. Well, John, thanks for taking some time out of your busy schedule to meet with me, and I'm really glad to have spent this time with you. Thank you, Don. All right.